On this episode of the Gig Harbor Fly Show, we're going to talk about what it takes to get into fly tying. In the world of fly fishing, there's all sorts of other aspects to the sport that you can get involved in. Sometimes people will even build their own rods, and many of us tie our own flies. Tying flies can be a fun way to stay connected to the sport, especially during those winter months where it's dark out and rainy. So what does it take to get into fly tying? We're going to talk about a couple of the tools that you'll need and how to get started. I've been tying flies for over 20 years and I think that I'm either on my fifth or sixth vice at this point. I started off with a really cheap combo set uh, when I was a kid and I learned how important good tools are. And after tying with that initial set that I got, the, the bobbin was breaking the thread like every single time I tried to use it. I had to go out and buy new scissors and a new bobbin and I kind of wish I had just ponied up for a little bit better tool set in the first place. So when it comes to the tools, the things that people think about most are probably the vise. The vise is the tool that holds the hook and there's a lot of different vices out um, and uh, I've even tried tying flies by just holding the, the hook in, in hand but just starting off, you're gonna to have to invest in some tools, the vise, and materials. And so if you're on a budget, um, saving some money on the vise is a good idea. The Renzetti Apprentice vise um, is a great, uh, great budget-friendly vise for around 100 bucks. And um, it, it holds, holds, the, holds the hook really well, has a, can hold a, a wide variety of hook sizes. Um, one of the things I like about this is that you can, um, you can loosen uh, loosen the, the vise up and be able to spin the vise to be able to see the fly from different angles, uh, which can be really helpful when you're tying nymphs and putting legs on to be able to match them up on both sides, or tying a dry fly to be able to see if you, maybe you have hackle wrapped under, underneath uh, from wire, or um, it just gives you a, another perspective of the fly without having to take the hook out of the vise. Maybe you've seen the Renzetti vices that we have at the fly tying bar that have the offset head angle. And those are rotary vices that are designed to, uh, to also spin, um, but they can help you wrap the material on the hook very efficiently. Instead of, instead of the material wrapping it around the hook, you spin the hook and, and it spins the material onto the hook. So for tools, the tools are really important having good tools, you're dealing with a really fine thread and, and sometimes some pretty fragile materials. And so having, a, having tools that, are, um, that don't hold the thread right or they don't cut, they're not sharp enough to cut very well can be really frustrating when you're in the middle of a fly and everything falls apart because the, the tools failed you. So we have two, uh, two tool kits that uh, we recommend and we think are, are pretty solid. Um, the first one's from Loon and uh, this loom kit has uh, all the essential tools, but the bobbin and the scissors are the two that you're, you're going to use all the time. Uh, those are super important. The whip finisher ties a knot around the head of the, uh, the eye uh, to finish the fly off. And the bodkin is a needle, so you can use that to apply head cement or um, pick out materials. This piece here, you probably won't use starting off until you have a little bit more experience, but it'll be, it will be a great tool to have, and it's, it's for dubbing loops, um, and it's just a way to apply material onto the hook, especially tying some steelhead and saltwater flies. Um, and, and then there's a brush that we use also in those dubbing loops uh, and to comb out material. The Dr. Slick set has some of the similar tools that the Loom Kit has. It also has, has scissors, a bobbin, and a whip finisher and bodkin, uh, but this tool set also has a hackle plier and a hair stacker. If you tie more trout, uh, trout flies and you're going to be tying more dry flies, these, the hair stacker and uh, the hackle plier are pretty essential and this would be a great, great tool set to start off with. This year for 2019, Hairline came out with a fly tying kit that has all of the materials you need for beginners to tie 20 different patterns. So there's, there's hackle for dry flies, for nymphs, for wet flies, there's hooks in here. Um, this thing is, is really complete. But one of the great things about it is that it comes with a book on uh, the top 20 patterns with the instructions on how to tie them. 
Uh, this is a great place to start. Uh, if you're local, another great, great place to start is with our fly tying bar. On Thursday nights from 6 to 8, we, we have a free hangout fly tying time where uh, we have the vices, the materials, and the tools provided. Uh, we have our liquor license and we sell beer for three bucks a beer. And we usually have a pretty good crew of people that come down and hang out. And so we have introductory nights for beginners every so often, usually about, um, about every other month. And so make sure that you're on our email list to get the schedule and notifications of when those are happening. And uh, hopefully we'll see you down at the fly tying bar. Give us a call. If you have questions about fly tying or need to get set up with a fly tying vice and tools, we're happy to help you and get you started.